Hey y'all, we're gonna talk a little bit about fingerling potatoes today. What I mean by fingerlings is these little tiny ones. Um, oftentimes I like to buy it actually in a mixed bag where you get these small reds, these little goldens and purples. Sadly, they didn't have the at my grocery store this time, so I'm making do with what I found. But this is usually the size and what we're talking about when we're talking about those little fingerlings. They are not those big, massive things. This is what we want when we say fingerling. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different things you can do with the fingerling. For the most part, if we use them, we're probably going to be roasting them. So really just cutting in half might be enough. So like this one was smaller, so I just wanted to cut it in half, but because this one's a little bit bigger, I'll go ahead and cut it in half and then cut it like that. So now these are more similar sizes, which helps with the roasting process. You can see that pretty golden color on the inside of that one. So that's really the idea with it. You know, so those are kind of gonna be, if, if you wanna do them in pieces for roasting and stuff like that, you could also do, you know, slices pretty easily. You could cut it in half and then do some slices if you wanted to. And of course, you know, these, you know, these would make like nice little crisp chips. These ones that I've done too, like if I wanna make them even smaller, I can take them smaller still, right? From there, you can kind of, you can sort of go anywhere with your knife cuts. But the other thing I want to show you is actually shredding. So I have my grater here, and you know, it's pretty simple, right? Shredding is not that complicated. I'm going to just take this and start shredding it. The biggest thing with these, though, that you have to be careful of is they are kind of small, and so my hand's going to get close to the shredder pretty early on, and I want to make sure to be wary of that because this is a blade, and it can cut me. So otherwise, you know, that's, that's that. The shredding can ha be really beneficial for making a mash or hash, um, any of that kind of stuff, really. And so, you know, not gonna get a lot, because they are pretty small, but you can start to see it shredding. And I just wanna get enough for you to see. I go to like right now so as I'm like this my fingers are getting closer so I might change the angle that I use to shred it usually once you get started you can go a little faster but the first couple of passes you want to be a little more gentle with so there we go and there it is shredded so it's the same thing we do with sweet potato all right that's it